People ask me all the time what I mix Total ISO with. Honestly, I mix it with everything. Water, egg whites, Jay? Capone, Daisy. Jay, seriously? Don't. All right, so uh, I've been getting so many people asking me about nutrition lately. Everyone knows the teriyaki boy, but we're going to check out this is protein house another one of the health benefits of living in vegas so what they got cooking here today uh we can't eat some stuff i don't know what do we want uh i'm gonna have the bison today Bison is leaner than chicken, and this is uh, 70 grams of protein, which is a little over overboard for me. It's about double what I don't know why he's trying to do this to me. Um, and then white rice. So normally, what I'll try to do is eat an hour before training. So today I'm going to go train some shoulders and get the food in, uh, physiotomics, and then uh, hit the gym. So this will be meal meal number two, and it's. Uh, it's midday right now, so Protein House is one of the the main locations. When people come to town, they look for different uh, healthy options. And as you guys know, like Teriyaki Boy is, has the Jay Cutler Bowl. Well, here is, you know, we come and I always get the same thing. Vice, and what's this called? Boss Bowl, right? So this is the Boss Bowl. So we have onions and peppers and uh, white rice. Normally it comes with what? What is it? Sweet potatoes, yeah, but I get white rice. So this is gonna be my my pre-workout meal. I like wearing them anyway. Um, all right, so we just finished our meal at Protein House, and I'm gonna head over to Atomics, pop over, see what's happened, see what the sale of the week is, and since it's only about five minutes from here, and then we're gonna head to the office, and we're going to hit the gym. So I'm gonna take my my little pre-energy. Hey, what's up? So order's going out. All right, so we're gonna run a sale this weekend. So I don't know if I'm gonna launch this video, run this video. Yes, sir. This video will launch next week. I'm gonna put these on sale. And these on sale. This is actually the Jay Cutler Signature Shield. Kind of similar to this one. But... All right, Mitch. So we're gonna do um, this shoe for. Let's do that for set. Let's do it for seventy nine. Seventy nine. Can they use my code? And they can use your code. Yeah, J25. 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 So we got black or white in this, and then we got uh, purple and limited, limited, limited in this, and limited in the purple. Okay. That I got all sizes. Uh, what are we What are we charging for these? Seventy nine. Let's make it easy. It's seventy nine, and then the J25 code. Right. So. Okay. All right. We'll shoot a little uh, a mini commercial, and then uh, we'll go to Instagram. Right there, yeah. Facebook. Boom, yeah, yeah, done. Yeah. Now uh, you click it, yeah, done. Okay. It's already, so it's going to have its own little swipe up. You got to do it on each. You oh, gonna, you got to do it on each? Yeah, otherwise each frame. Okay. You're going to miss it. So put it, go to the next frame. I got you. Okay. And do the same thing. Copy and paste the link now. Okay, I got you. Yeah. I'll, just, I'll take you in the back and show you. Uh, I pulled down all the pallet racks yesterday. Yeah. All your 40,000 cups. <laughs> Yeah, but now the racks are down, and now I need to get rid of the racks. So I, so the guy calls me when he when I bought the racks from the guy, mm -hmm. the pallet racks. 
He's like, I'll buy them back. So I call him yesterday. I'm like, hey, I have the racks. He's like, well, you know, it's easier for you to sell them on Craigslist. Oh, of course. <laughs> so I'm kind of like, damn. Like, I, would, I was kind of hoping he just would come pick them up. You know? Right. No, that would be too easy. Because then I have to worry about, like, honestly, I've never listed anything on uh, Craigslist before. Right. And also, like, it's pretty hard for me to be like, hey, I'm self selling in my pallet racks, you know, and people have to meet people here or whatever. Because I'm not, like, I come here in the afternoons, right? Because mm -hmm. I, I work from home. And then with this, uh, with this office, it's more of, like, just miscellaneous, right? Yeah. Are they big and, like, bulky? Huge. Are you talking about the big metal? Yeah, look. Yeah, so this is, I mean, I was done. I hired a guy to come help me do it. But oh, those? Yeah. Oh, yeah, no, bro. So I, so <laughs> He's got to go pick those up. Anyone on YouTube that's looking for pallet racks that lives in Las Vegas, hit me up. <laughs> so, I, you know, I had to take these down because I'm organizing all this. This is all Ben Stone and stuff. So right now, you remember that we had all the racks. Yeah, up, right? yeah, yeah. And uh, so I, ha I counted all these pieces yesterday. This is the old, these are the Vita packs. Mm -hmm. These are all going. So I have uh, like 5,000 units that I need to ship out. So anyone looking for vitamin packs, uh, let me know. This is the old brand. And then we got some more cups here. The last of the cups. And uh, is that getting it cleaned left? up. Yeah, that's it. Because I the, met the you. The rest are in Pennsylvania. Oh, okay. So this is one of the posters that people don't see as much as for sale on the memorabilia site, jcutlershop.com, guys. Make sure you check it out. So slowly, slowly getting everything dissipated here. And uh, we're moving up. So I usually been going to, uh, going to do my workouts in the middle of the day now. You've been getting better lifts midday, or just fit your schedule? It just fits, and and for me, to be honest, uh, like I don't really have a a time of day where I can tell you, hey, this is a better workout for me. I think as you get more, when you get more food in your body, I think it definitely helps with your pumps. But for me, like for, I'm one of these people that like to get it done early in the day. So like when I'm at home, like I worked till late last night in the office and I handle a lot of communication later at night, especially for international stuff. That's a good mixture too, by the way, lime and uh, watermelon, all the flavors mix mm -hmm. really well. Oh, I got something for you too, you know. What's that? Peanut butter ISO. Oh yeah, that one dropped and I haven't. Yeah, I brought it to you, I got it in the, in the zoo last night. Perfect. Yeah, make sure you get uh, on film of like how the seating situation is when you're <laughs> when you're six foot seven. What you are you six, six eight? Oh, excuse six, me. Eight. Yeah, yeah, I don't want to insult you. Yeah, it's like people call me five eight. I get pissed. <laughs> okay, I need I need all of it. I'm five foot eight and three quarters. I think I'm actually five foot eight and three quarters. Yeah, five ten. Two pairs of socks, some Nikes, whatever. I guess it doesn't help if I wear Atomics all the time, right? Because they're such a flat shoe. Yeah. Don't mention me some, some pad in there. Yeah, so uh, so he was just asking me about the, uh, like, what about the G-Wagons? And I said, man, it's like, this is what everyone wanted. I said the Kardashians made it popular, but at the same time, uh, they're like a glorified Jeep. Yeah. You know, I had a Wrangler. Did I ever tell you I had a Wrangler? I bought a Wrangler when I was 19, and I, and I always wanted a Jeep because my brother had Jeeps. I have an older brother. And I found a, Wrang, a, a 91 Jeep Wrangler. I bought it in 92 for $5,000. I stole it. It was no miles. It was beautiful. I paid five grand for it. So I took a personal loan from my sister's bank for five grand, and my payment was $155 a month Jeez. for this Jeep, okay? I drove it for two years and I put a ton of miles on it and I still sold it for five grand. No way. <laughs> I bought it for five and I sold it for five. How crazy is that? It gets no better than that. So when people say, oh, cars are the worst depreciation, if you buy them right, 
Yeah, and that's why it. now I just applied for my dealer's license, so now I can buy and sell cars. So it's, you can go to like auction and stuff, yeah, yeah with auction, your license. So, yeah, so I'm using the office space I have now to. Uh, Dude, you got your hand in everything. Dealer's license, so. I feel like every time we get together, you got a new business venture. Mm -hmm. Good. Yeah, so I'm about three minutes from this place, which is. Super convenient. Because yeah, outside of that, you really didn't have a gym close to your office, no? Nah, it's, you know, you go to EOSs and LVACs. I mean, Lift Factory is like three minutes from my house, as you know, so I have that option. And then, uh, but if I'm at work, you know, I gotta go home. I like to shower before I train and whatever and eat a meal. You know, it kind of sets me back to having late night training schedule which I don't necessarily enjoy as much I like like I said to be done I mean I was always an early trainer if you asked me when my the best years of my physique was you know early 2000s 2001 two, three, I was training twice a day I would train at 7 30 in the morning that's I my body feels best at that time and then I would be uh, done training at my second session by by two o'clock in the afternoon I was in bed by 9 p.m., but you know that doesn't really work in this day and age. I, everyone kind of works or stays up later now. Oh, it's tucked back in here. Yeah, yeah, so they get the sun in here. to spend you know I mentioned I'm four hours in the gym a day I train you know four times sometimes but you know right now you know as much as I you know I, I preach about not spending too much time in the gyms you know I spend an hour doing my thing in the morning my cardio and then I go train an hour with weights but the intensity sometimes on certain days is is a little kind of up and down so Depends on what the atmosphere and how I feel, what the what the body part is, and once again, my my training is not necessarily to get bigger. I want to stay at a certain size, but it's more about conditioning, getting mind to the muscle, and you know, just staying fit and keeping my head clear. And I think that's what I do mostly with my cardio in the morning. Is I I use that as kind of my my hour of uh, meditation. And I handle, sometimes, you know, I, I say meditation, but I'm doing emails or sometimes I do phone calls or whatever because I'm doing it in my garage. But fortunately, my service isn't great in my garage, so I, sometimes it limits me from phone calls, which is a good thing because I need that shutoff time. But my days seem to never end anyway, so I work. I don't have, like, a schedule where I have to do a certain amount. And since everything is pretty much mobile and I'm shipping product from Pennsylvania, it allows me to kind of have the freedom of not having to be in meetings necessarily day to day um, face to face I can kind of do stuff on the phone send voice notes as you heard earlier uh, makes it a lot easier for me so but it's kind of nice now I did my my workout this morning at home and then I've got my training done it's 240 I mentioned earlier like I used to train at 7 30 and 2 o'clock I just you know completed pretty much the same kind of day although I don't I don't have to go back tonight you know the body parts to train and uh Feeling good, so. The worst part is when people get their orders from me, they're like, what's it say? <laughs> what's it say? You can, you can, uh, Hello? Oh, I, I think it's... The butt dial? Yeah. <laughs> now it's a FaceTime butt dial. So yeah, so a lot of times if you look at that, what do you think that says on that poster right there? I probably can't read it. Yeah. Train. Here, look. 
trained to be the best. Mr. OJ Cutler. That's a real sky, bro. That's a real sky in Red Rock. Oh, wow. Cool, huh? We get those in Vegas like, every once in a while, yep. those sunsets that are crazy. That was in September of 2009 I filmed it. Beautiful. Yeah. This is what I do um, just to kind of still stay connected with all the fans. So workout day, business as usual. I want to show you guys a little day in the life of stuff. If you guys like this video, please make sure you press the like button um, feel free to hit me up either email or social media if you guys want something personally signed as a gift or whatever I'm always available don't forget my cameo also I do cameo you know what cameo is is that where they like you give people shout outs and stuff on yeah. the video yeah I do cameos and the good thing is when you get it from me get the sticker. Boom, baby. Now it's official, so stay tuned, guys, because we got more coming your way. 